Anna. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Anna, which movie had the best costume and styling this year? I have to pick, I think, two films where we felt that the costumes were extraordinary and the first one would be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood where the costumes were designed by Ariane Phillips and the look of the movie which was set at the end of the 60s, early 70s was so like an Alessandro Michele show for Gucci you could put the two side by side and you couldn't tell the difference. And then the other film where we loved the way it looked, obviously, was Little Women, where the clothes were designed by Jacqueline Durand. It was set in the Civil War era, obviously very Victorian. And if you personally wanted to be inspired by that look to wear for yourself, you might want to look at Brock or Erdem or even Louis Vuitton, who loves that kind of jacket. If I was going to choose one, I would have to say she deserves to win. Anna, what was your best and worst date? Hello, Kendall. I'm only going to answer this question if you agree to give me your answers to exactly the same question the next time I see you, which will be shortly. So in answer to my best dates, I have to choose going to the theater with my daughter or going to a tennis match with my son. And in terms of my worst date ever, back in the 70s, I was very, very interested in a young man who was a writer of very activist leanings and he was always getting arrested and going to jail and uh, getting a lot of quite negative press. And my father, who was an editor of a newspaper and never exhibited any interest in my boyfriends, asked me if he could meet him. So we had an extremely uncomfortable um, exchange. But then at the end of it, my dad said to the young man, I know you're interested in politics. Would you like to go to America and cover the upcoming election campaigns? And he, of course, was stunned and immediately said yes. And then he left the next day and I never saw him again. So my dad was quite cunning. Hey Anna, what are you hoping to see more of on the runways in February? Well, I find when I make predictions about what's going to be on the runways, I'm always entirely wrong. But I do hear that we're going to be seeing a lot of short. And I saw that there was quite a bit of color at the men's collection, which usually is an indication of what we're going to see. So hopefully color and optimism. And obviously all of us at Vogue's across the world are hoping that the designers will be very mindful of sustainability and clothes that are meaningful and will be made to last. Hey Anna, I've seen almost no movies this Oscar season. If I could check out one movie, what should I watch? Very hard to choose one, so I'm going to give you two. The first one would be The Farewell, which is partly set in New York and partly set in China. Great story about a young woman confronting mortality with her grandmother. And the second one, which is uh, a little darker, is nominated for many, many awards, has won already many awards, and is called Parasite. But I think you should go to the movies more often. Hey Anna, so what's a good gift that you can give somebody for Valentine's Day when you just started dating them? Well, if you're in a new relationship, I would honestly think about something that's not too serious, has a sense of humor. Maybe you might want to think about cooking them dinner. Our friends at Bon Appetit have an incredible list of recipes. A personal favorite is the squash carbonara. Hey Anna, which young designers are you looking forward to see on Fashion Month? Because we're about to embark on the New York Fashion Collections Week, I'm going to choose two designers that show in New York. The first one is our Fashion Fund winner, Christopher John Rogers, who's very eccentric and very outgoing. He accepts his award wearing a bright red suit and a feather boa. And then the other collection that I'm looking forward to seeing is the presentation by Brent Neil, who is a young jewelry designer. Hey Anna, what's the most romantic gift anyone's ever given you? These gifts may not qualify only as romantic, but in my mind they were very romantic and very personal and very thoughtful. And I was so touched is both my daughter-in-law and my daughter took an enormous amount of time and trouble and put together these beautiful, beautiful wedding albums 
after both their weddings. Hey Anna, what do you do to pass your time while traveling during the fashion months? I'm basically on the road for a month starting today. So it's a great opportunity for me to catch up on my reading. This trip, I am going to try to read the entire third part of the trilogy of Wolf Hall, which is 726 pages in length, written by Hilary Mantle. It's called The Mirror and the Light. Okay, the second volume that I'm going to try and uh, read on my trip is The Dolphin Letters, which is the seven-year correspondence between Robert Lowell and Elizabeth Hardwick. So that probably won't be a quick read either. Hey, Anna, what's a good Valentine's Day gift to get someone that you've been with forever? Well, if you're in a more of a long-term relationship, I would suggest something that includes the two of you. So possibly bracelets from Sosha or maybe rings from Tiffany. Or if you want to do something that's more fashion orientated, I just saw an adorable couple wearing matching sweaters from Loverboy designed by Charles Jeffrey on the streets of London. And if the budget's a little larger, Prada has some great ones that they just showed in the runways of Milan. Hey Anna, what should I get my boyfriend for Valentine's Day? I don't know your boyfriend, so it's a little bit difficult to answer that question, but tickets to a sporting event is always successful, like football or basketball or poker. I once gave someone who told me they loved tap dancing, tap dancing lessons, and that was a huge hit. Okay, see you next time.